Hey everybody, Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. Tony behind the camera. We're at MWC 2013 still, and we are checking out the new Sony Xperia Tablet Z. Now before we get into the uh, software here, we just want to look at this hardware. Um, we don't have a, a measurement in front of us on the spec sheet, but this is incredibly thin and light for a, uh, for a 10 inch tablet. And this is a 10.1 inch reality display, we'll get to that in a second, but this is a soft, it's, it's not quite soft touch coating on the back, it's more like a, uh, like a really expensive countertop or something like that. But absolutely can't overstate just how light this is. It's almost hard to believe I'm holding a 10 inch tablet. Along the left side of the device we have our standby button. A lot of the design cues here echo those of the uh, Xperia Z smartphone. Power standby button, volume rocker there, you can see a little flap. <laughs> Flaps and all, we have, the, we have the return of the flap for your headphone jack. The some here, actually that's the charging port, these are charging terminals. Some information about the unit, some speaker ports, but otherwise everything just held, you know, everything hidden very, very nicely. Maybe a microphone up top here, and of course the Xperia branding on the back. This is an 8 megapixel, 8.1 megapixel camera with Exmor R. Uh, HDR uh, for photos, there is a 2 megapixel front camera, there's the Sony branding there, and a 6,000 milliamp hour battery powering it all even though it is so thin and light. We'll go ahead and power on the display and you can see, possibly, hopefully it reads on the video, just how absolutely gorgeous this display is from the front. Uh, and there's of course the stock Sony background, but once you get a little bit off angle here, you'll notice you do delve into some grays here. It's obviously not a, uh, it's a 10.1 it's a inch reality display at 1920 by 1200 resolution. Obviously not AMOLED or something because you're not seeing the deepest blacks in the world, similar to what we saw once again on the uh, Xperia Z smartphone. Uh, this is running Android 4.1.2 like, uh, like an awful lot of tablets are nowadays with Sony's uh, custom skin over the top of it. I want to take a take a brief look at this skin. We'll just hop on back out of here and we'll go back to the home screen. Obviously configurable home screens, some widgets here if you want to pre press and hold. We can do that. We can see the outline of all the home screens here. Apps, widgets, wallpapers, and so forth. There's also support for, for themes. Just As you might expect from Sony, all of this is done up in a really wonderful uh, minimalistic look that's that's not anywhere near the, the Metro design language from Microsoft. It's just something very, very different. It doesn't even look like Android at points until you hop into something like, like the app drawer. But um, just the, the beauty of the software is absolutely matching the beauty of the of the hardware. Um, as someone who uh, as someone who doesn't carry 10-inch tablets very often, this is one I would definitely consider picking up just on the merits of this pass alone. And we should mention, while I'm thinking of it here, that this device also comes with an aluminum-colored bezel, in addition to the black that we see here and on the back. That's just very, very clean, isn't it? There is NFC aboard, so these might talk to each other. I'm not entirely sure. But these are the two available colors of the Xperia Tablet Z which uh, we're going to be taking more of a look at as the days go by, and certainly this will not be the last time you see one of these in our hands. Michael with Pocket Now, Tony behind the camera, MWC 2013 at Sony. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.